Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19 Panini Chronicles of Basketball. 12 box, pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Very big thank you to all of these folks who uh, picked up their team straight up. Now you see some teams with, with no name next to it because there were some team randoms that we had to do. So first of all, the big one here, the Dallas Mavericks uh, team random. We sold 16 spots. We randomized those names. The name on top, let's switch over to the Dallas tab right here. Name on top gets the Mavericks for a fraction of the price. The rest of you with a little bit of a consolation prize, $5 of break credit. Um, the same rando we did last night, I already sent out that break credit. So if you're waiting for that, you should see it in your email, if not in your spam folder. All right, so let's, big thanks to these folks right here. Fred, Coop, and Fred. Good luck, you two. Let's roll the dice. Four and a three, seven times for this list here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, uh, Fred Williams had the odds. Fred down to Fred. All right, so let's get Fred into the Mavs spot here. Congrats. And I'll send out that break credit a little bit later tonight for everyone else here. All right, next one. We had the Lakers, Sixers, Celtics, Rockets, Heat, Wizards, and Raptors team random. So we sold seven spots. And we're going to rando them up. There it is, all the details right there. Big thanks to these folks right here. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. After 11, we've got Scott Cooper down to Josh. All right, so Coop. You got my Lakers, little Laker Joe Mojo. What in the world's going to happen with them in free agency? Sixers, what are the Sixers going to do? No idea. Who do they re-sign? Mark Madsen's got them. Derek Williams, sounds like the Celtics are getting Kemba Walker. All right. Rock, what, are the, what are the Rockets going to do? I have no idea. But they got to retool that team. Get everyone to play nice. Miami Heat could be surprise free agent... Free, a free, surprise free agent team. Wizards. What are they going to do there, Gay Plunkert? And Raptors. Do they get Kawhi back? Or does he go to the Clippers? Or does he go to the Lakers? I don't know. It's going to be a wild... It's going to be a wild tomorrow. Free agency opens tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right. So like I said, after this, I'll go through some orders. Um... And we'll see what we can do after that. I know that the I know that the uh, football mixer is sold out. Or I'm sorry, check that. The impeccable football is sold out. Mike Hosby, I don't think you bought the last two spots of the mixer. There's still three spots left in the baseball mixer. Plus a, um, a gold rush break to win spots in that baseball mixer. So there's still a little work to do, but I'm sure we can get... I'd be surprised if we didn't sell that out uh, by the time I go off air, which will be... Six and a half hours. 11 o'clock Pacific. All right, so there's the final list. Good luck, everybody. All right. Yeah, I have no idea, Gilo, what the deal with Kawhi is. Who knows? I mean, I, allegedly he's taking some meetings. So I don't think he's going to be signed, be one of the signees tomorrow. Stephen A. Smith thinks he's, thinks uh, everyone's going to the Lakers or Knicks. Well, uh, quote unquote, everyone was saying he was going to go to the Clippers. I think him going back to the, uh, I think him going back to the, the Raptors would probably be, I don't think he's, I don't think he's crazy. All right, what's up, Nate? 
Oh yeah, and there's now there's talk about Fred's right now. There's talk about Kawhi and Durant apparently had talked about teaming up. Who knows? Kyrie's gonna sign with the Nets. Kemba's gonna sign with with Boston. I I, I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks, Rune Deck. Rune, Rune's like, hey, I hope Kawhi stays in Toronto. But if he goes anywhere, I hope it's my Lakers. Yeah, I don't want to go to the Clippers. What are the What are the Knicks gonna do if the Knicks lose out on all the elite free agents? Knicks thought they were going to get Zion with the number one pick. But then they got screwed in the lottery. Then they couldn't make the trade for Anthony Davis. Man, they, they, all sorts of things went wrong there. They're, they might not even get KD. They may lose KD and Kyrie to the Nets. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so now I know there's a lot of things going on here. A lot of serial numbered cards. A lot of crazy stuff. But just in the interest of time, we got to kind of breeze through these a little bit more quickly. And our, our, uh, our shipping team will pull these uh, serial numbered cards and get them sleeved up and whatnot. These will do right away. For the Mavericks, Jersey and Auto, Jason Kidd, 34 out of 49. The Lakers, uh, it's going to be a mess too. The Lakers have like, I don't know, two other potential guys that could replace Frank Vogel if he falters for whatever, whatever reason. Jason Kidd is one of them. That goes to Fred Williams and the Dallas Mavericks. And obviously, these Luka Doncic just will all ship to you, Fred. Another Luka Doncic right there. That will ship out. That's to 149. I'm sure all of those all of those different Luka Doncic's and whatnot will have some strong value in the secondary market. And the autograph is out of 75. Rookie auto, Jared Vanderbilt for the Denver Nuggets. Jeremy Tillman with the Nuggets. You want to see Kawhi back in Toronto? I could see that happening. I mean, maybe Kawhi takes all these meetings and just really isn't convinced by any team and you know, not really interested in like being perceived as like the the next savior to struggling franchises like the Lakers or the Knicks. Maybe he just says, "Hey, let's run it back one more time in Toronto." I could see him taking like a short, uh, like a one and one deal, like two year deal with a player option. You know, and be like, be like, "Hey." Let's try it again, Toronto. Let's see if we can win another one. You know, because I think there is something to be said about trying to win, to defend a title, try to win something, and try to go back to back. Not too many teams do that. That could be a challenge for him. Yeah, that's the power of Luka Doncic, Fred Williams. You know, even some of these non-autos, numbered but non-auto cards, could sell for a ton. So all of those will obviously ship. And this will ship too. Kevin Willis, 2 out of 10 for the Houston Rockets. Scott Cooper with the Rockets. Kawhi in Utah. Is Utah even chasing Kawhi? Do they have cap space for Kawhi? And we got a nice Alonzo Trier and that XR design. 8 out of 25 for the Knicks. That goes to James. 
and New York Knicks. Nice. He had a pretty solid season. I know that's been a rumor too. D'Angelo Russell could come back to LA. Yeah, if if Los Angeles, if the if my Lakers don't get, well, they're not getting Kemba. It looks like he's going to Boston. Everyone seems to be saying that Kyrie is going to Brooklyn. KD's not going to play with LeBron in LA. I don't think that. I, and I think the Lakers want to win now. They're not going to wait a year for Kevin Durant. Um, so they may be. And if Kawhi doesn't go to the Lakers, they're going to have $30 million of cap space. What are they going to do with that? They, well, then they got to spread it around, which might be a blessing in disguise if everybody says no. Because then they could create some depth to that team. Now, D'Angelo Russell is not a $30 million kind of max guy, but could be like a mid-20s sort of max guy. You know, that, that team that he was on a few years ago, that doesn't exist anymore. The front office doesn't exist anymore. Coaching staff doesn't exist anymore. So he'd be like coming back to a new team. So whatever drama there was back in the day, nobody from that era is even is even there. So yeah, he might be willing to come back. We'll randomize those points cards. I hate that they have those points cards backwards like that. So yeah, I mean the Lakers might pick up D'Angelo Russell maybe for twenty-five million dollars a year. Maybe you know, maybe they get someone like DeAndre Jordan for you know and spread out the money a little bit. Wow, nice David Robinson jersey and auto. Nine out of 49. Spurs. Josh Pruce with the Spurs. That's a nice one. Durant's gone. So D -Lo to Golden State? I doubt that. They already have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson as guards. So D'Angelo Russell would really have no place to play. I mean, he would. While Clay Thompson's down for half a season, but they're gonna max Clay Thompson. He's gonna get the five and whatever that the reports are saying. So I don't think D'Angelo Russell really makes sense there. If Durant leaves and Golden State sweeps in and gets Kawhi, that could be interesting. I'm not sure. If would Kawhi be interested in that? I have no idea. I don't think Kawhi's even taking a meeting with Golden State, though. Yeah, the Kemba, Kemba to Boston uh, seems to be increasingly... I mean, obviously, we're not going to know anything for sure until tomorrow, but but it looks like Kemba to, Kemba to Boston seems to be... Uh, there seems to be a lot of noise there. So Kemba might be off the market already. Well, which also, you know, kind of opens up a bunch of cap space for Charlotte too. You know, maybe Charlotte makes a run at D'Angelo Russell. There's been some talk that that the Timberwolves wanted to get D'Angelo Russell. They try to make a trade for him. Nice. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 23 out of 25. That's strong. SGA. For Adam Kelly. It's a, it's a good one. Solid player. The mo most points I've seen was probably like... We've seen like a... There was a break recently where there was like 10,000 points or something like that. Luminance, Luka Doncic, that's pretty sick. 
of that design. And we got rookie auto, Trayvon Duval to 75. Oh, that's right. That was the 15,000 in fast break. That's right, Mike Tower. Yeah, that's what it was. The Bucks auto goes to Ed Ram. What do the Bucks do? They've got guys they need to re-sign maybe. Chris Middleton, perhaps. Brooke Lopez. No, it was a single card that was 15,000 points. Yeah, I agree, Gila. NBA is fun because teams actually seem to make moves. Well, not only that, I mean, you only need rosters are, are really small, right? So one or two big moves could instantly change the fortunes of a franchise. What's up, Ryan? That's the crazy part about it. One one trade here and there. Look, one trade by the Lakers. Anthony Davis, one man, goes to goes to Los Angeles and then disrupts everything in the NBA. Two injuries to two players, you know. Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant changes everything in the in the in the off season. And Porzingis is in Dallas too. Let's not forget about that. Porzingis in Dallas, along with uh, with Lulu, Luka Doncic. There he is. So what do they add to that team? Not numbered. There's a Nemanja, Jelica, 18 out of 49. Chronicles autograph for the Kings. Eric Bailey. And Sean Elliott. Wow, one of one Sean Elliott. Looks like a laundry tag and his autograph. So there was the Admiral before, Josh Pruce. Now you got some Sean Elliott here too and a train whistle. Woo. Nice. Josh Pruce, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There's Dante DiVincenzo, Trey Young. Which rookie comes into the best situation with their new team? Um, probably like a rookie that was drafted late in the first round, right? Generally, those are the better teams. So maybe uh, who's that? Uh, who did the Golden State Warriors draft? Right? No KD, no Clay Thompson. It's just Steph and Draymond. So that that Warriors rookie, he's got to be ready to go. He's gonna get minutes. He'll get playing time. Oh, where were these first last time, Mark? About the, the the rookie who uh, who who was the second round pick for the Lakers. Lakers have n nobody on their team, like depth wise. So there's a there's a the Lakers draftee who's gonna might be given every chance to succeed. There's another Luka Doncic, not numbered. There's Michael Porter Jr. to 149. 
Another Luka Doncic Obsidian card. Not numbered. A playoff version of Luka. Could be... Yeah, Hawks is a good situation, Mike and Mark. Right, the rookie there. Already coming onto a team that's pretty solid. A lot of depth on that team, too. It's Tyus Jones, 11 out of 49 for the Timberwolves. That'll be for Jeffrey. Oh, you're welcome, Daniel. That was a nice hit. Right, John Morant paired with Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Grizz. That's going to be a young team rebuilding. Should be exciting. All right, Hawks have two rookies, right? They have two picks that they added. So they, they're they already crafting a really nice young core. There's Svi Mahaliuk out of 99 for the Pistons. That'll be for Ed Ram, former Laker. Yeah, tons of hope in the in, in the NBA. Cause cause one or one or two uh, you know one or two successful players or surprise players can can change the fortunes of a franchise. Michael Porter Jr. I think is going to be. A rookie this year, Mike Tower, believe it or not. He did not play a single game last year, right? So he may be still considered uh, a, a rookie. So he'd still be eligible for the Rookie of the Year award. I think it's, it's similar to, that, uh, to, the, to the Ben Simmons situation, I think. Where he missed the entirety of his first season, but came back in his second season. And was still, at least NBA-wise, considered a rookie. Hobby-wise, I don't think he was... Yeah, hobby-wise, I don't, I don't think he was a, a rookie anymore, hobby-wise, but... There's Mo Bamba. Uh, 25. What, what are the Magic going to do? Maybe re-sign Vucevic? I think that seems to be what what it is, right? But yeah, Michael Porter Jr. could be interesting. A lot of people said if it wasn't for Michael Porter Jr.'s injury, injury history too, that he could have been picked much higher in the draft. I am actually interested in seeing Mike Tower what uh, Markel Fultz could do. Because Markel Fultz, new new scenario. He's still a number one pick. I mean, what? All all of a sudden he's garbage now? No. I mean, he's got a rough start to his pro career, but come on, you got to think. You know, you, you got to think there there is a reason why he was picked number one overall, even if he wasn't deserving of number one overall, right? He would have he would have been at least a top five pick, right? So at the time, everyone w was on it, but then weird things happen in Philadelphia. He gets a fresh start in Orlando. Man, what what if what if Orlando just disrupted the NBA? Daniel Sloan's thinking. Get Kawhi Leonard, re-sign Vucevic, Markel Fultz just comes out of nowhere, you know, and just revives his career. Woo! Think about that. Sub cards. So that that would suddenly become an interesting, uh, an interesting team, right?
Kawhi, Vucevic, and Markel Fultz playing like the number one that he was. Ooh. All of a sudden, you know, in a, in a weaker East, <laughs> who knows what Kawhi is thinking? It's all assumptions. Everyone is assuming he's, he's going to go to the Clippers or the Lakers or the... Who knows? Kawhi Leonard and Uncle Dennis could just be sitting there going, you know what? Orlando sounds nice. You know, Kawhi's a pretty chill guy. And he's just like, I'll just get season passes to Disneyland. You know? Season passes to Disneyland, hang out there. They got Mo Bamba too. Never, you never know what's gonna happen. Did they already sign Vucevic? I think. Or maybe there's a, there's like a potential deal in place. There's Etwan Moore, thirty six out of seventy five. Yeah, cards. Yeah, Matt, Orlando Magic could could be interesting. They had a pretty nice. They had a decent season last year. There were some there 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 were some giant killing in the in the regular season too. They they would take down some pretty big teams, slipped into the playoffs. Ooh, speaking of the Magic, there's Mo Bamba, eighty three out of ninety nine momentous rookies for Ed Ram and the Magic. Talking about MPJ. Sub Rex, what's going on? All right. Four boxes to go. Almost there. Probably another oh, 20 minutes or so. We'll be done with this break and we'll go through some orders after this. I think after this will be impeccable, I'm pretty sure, will happen after this. 2016 impeccable football. And then I think. Um, maybe that, uh, maybe that baseball mixer, I think something, something will be sold out. Yeah. Chronicles really has redeemed itself from last. Well, Chronicles baseball was really nice. Chronicles basketball, I think, was kind of kind of hit and miss last year, but it seems to be a lot more well received this year. No, I did not pick either club today, Rex. I don't know if my picks are going well today. <laughs> So we'll see. Yeah, that 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 game today. That game today was wild. Yeah, there's a there's a ton of different short. There's lot, most of these cards are gonna ship to you, everybody. There's so many inserts and so many fun things here. It'll only be like these kind of vet base, you know, the Chronicles veteran commons that won't ship. And we'll pull, we'll pull all of these too. There's just too many numbered cards for me. This break would take an hour and a half if I was like looking at everything, but we're gonna just breezing through these into the, in the interest of time, but we'll be pulling all of these, sleeving a time. In fact, I might do it myself if I have some time later. Love that origins design. As well, I, I want some Origins basketball to happen. 95 out of 99 for the Brooklyn Nets. Zana Musa. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot, lot more on-card autos too, Mike Tower, which I'm, which I'm liking. Rex, what, what was that? What was that fight all about? There was a, there was a fight in that Reds Cubs game. Yasiel Puig was being held back. Luminance hoops would be cool too. Yeah, I still want that Spectre baseball as well, Rex. That we saw in Chronicles baseball last year. Yeah, the fences were really short out there in London. So, I mean, I guess they they wanted runs, they got them. And there's a scent autograph, Zaire Smith. Oh, Pui got hit by a pitch and then he just went nuts. <laughs> Sixers, uh, Zaire Smith. That'll be for Mark Madsen. Someone had a Charlotte question earlier. Yeah, Mike Towers. Like when Kemba leaves, what do the Hornets have left? I don't know. What What are they gonna do out there? Will they get D'Angelo Russell, Mike Tower? That's a possibility. Why would I buy a Kings? I'm a Lakers guy. No need to buy a Kings jersey. That's a waste. I guess it wasn't really a fight, right? There, there, there were some words said. <laughs> Benches cleared. Jordan suits up. What do you think Jordan could do? If, if, if Jordan got into game shape at his age, If Jordan at just same age, but you know he's 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 an older guy, so not exactly a basketball shape. But if he got like if he worked out, got in got in basketball as close to basketball shape as he could be in his age, what do you think? Think Jordan could put in like ten minutes a night? I'm sure he could still shoot, right? There's Doncic again to 49. Doncic again. And we've got another Ascent autograph. Hamadou Diallo. Another on-card autograph for Gilo and the OKC Thunder. Your dunk contest winner. No, I... Actually, Diamondbacks might not be a bad pick. Gianni, I haven't looked... I, I don't remember offhand if, that, if there was some value there, but... I feel like the line might be too expensive. I think Granky's throwing tonight. I think Kyrie to Brooklyn could be interesting too. Well, LeBron would destroy Michael Jordan right now, Rex. <laughs> it wouldn't really be fair. But yeah, it, he LeBron would just or uh, Jordan would just be a one-way player. He would just play. He would just spot up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah, Kyrie supposedly going going to. Going to Brooklyn, yeah. So, so I, I think I think Gianni's right. If Kyrie goes to Brooklyn, then KD can't be too far behind. Harry Giles for the Kings. Eric Bailey with the Sacramento Kings. Uh, yeah, cards is right, Mike Tari. Six. LeBron's apparently going to wear number six. Yeah, that's a good ascent auto, Gilo. Pretty nice. 
Not even for charity, Rex. I, I want I want Jordan to just suit up. And just be like, just be like, screw it. Didn't sign it. <laughs> Jordan's going to be like, we didn't max Kemba because we maxed the greatest player in the game. Me. Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Just goes out there. Just spots up. Knocking down jumpers. Courtney Lee, 42 out of 75. Right. Kemba's not there to shoot game winners anymore. Yeah, you just put Jordan out there last five minutes of the fourth quarter. Just give me five minutes, Jordan, in the, in the fourth quarter. Do it. We're down. We're down, Michael. Get us there. We need the, we need that W. Now oh, Jordan would destroy Barkley in a one-on. That that's better in terms of era. Nice Gary Trent Jr. Origins to ninety-nine. Yeah, a lot more on cards in here this year, which I think makes it nice. Gary Trent Jr. for the Trailblazers. Ricky Buffalo. Buffalo. I don't think I've heard of like an old timers basketball game. Why don't they have that? You guys see that Darren Collison retired? I know there was a lot of talk in Los Angeles about like, about like, oh, you know, maybe Darren Collison could be a good three point shooting guy, you know, that they could get for a vet minimum or something like that. He retired. All right, last box. Ah, that's a good point, Gilo. Yeah, I guess, I guess big three is basically old timers league. Kobe wouldn't go to Kobe wouldn't go to Boston. Kobe's not even interested in basketball anymore. He's just, he's teaching his daughters how to play basketball. He's, he's having his daughters run triangle offenses in school. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard, Mike Cosby. I think I think he's a Jehovah's Witness. So he was just like, I'm, I'm I'm the hoops era of my life is over. I'm gonna lead lead my post basketball career. I don't blame him. It's good for you. But it was just a surprise because there just because there was so much. There's so much interest in him by other teams to have him, like, you know, come off the bench and everything, but. No, LeBron, they, they, they started shooting Space Jam 2, Rex. Clay Thompson's in it. He was on set. Anthony Davis is on set. Oh, I thought that was going to be an autograph. Marvin, there's Marvin Bagley. I'm Kathleen Summers, and I'm an executive producer. The studio wants to have their representative there. Look out for their hits. And sometimes it doesn't work out. I came in, and yes, it was tough because there was that terrible fear that I would change things, and I did. I was one of the last ones cast, and, and Marty Yaya was originally urgent. At first, I was grateful, but then... 7 out of 10. Yeah, uh, I think there's pictures of like Clay Thompson like hobbling in on crutches and everything. Got to be on top of your news, Rex, before you start th throwing shade. Imagine if you ran to LeBron who was throwing that shade. You'd get torched, Rex. Torched. 
I have no idea who else is on there, though. <laughs> he might only have just those two guys. He needs some Monstars, too. All right, there you go, boys and girls. We got 1,500 points to give away. So let's go back to the list. So from Eric down to Gabe and everyone in between. Let's put them in here. Name on top. We'll get the points after seven times. Four and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And final time. After seven. There you go. Name on top is Josh Proust. There you go, Josh. 1,500 points coming your way. And there you have it. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.